And this is where we look at Washington's offense. Running middle screen, they do it a lot of different ways. They do a great job of being creative, and they do it out of different formations, getting different guys the ball. But we'll take a look at it. A really interesting wrinkle and concept whenever you're trying to get back into the screen game. But you know, most spread guys typically in the offseason are you know, looking for different screens, stuff like this. So this is a really simple one that you can be creative and use a lot of misdirection to get the ball to your guys in the middle of the field. On the very first play that we're going to look at, we actually have a bunch right here. They send the back that direction, and the guy that ends up getting the middle screen is this guy right here. It's almost like they're blocking for a swing, and then he slides right back into the middle of the field. All they're doing right here up front as far as the blocking is basically blocking C-gap with the tackles. These guys are setting, and then they're releasing. You have a nose right here. This center actually pushes him off, and they go vertical right there. So this left guard is probably looking for anything outside to the left. The center's looking right down the middle of the field. Same thing right there, almost like they're fanning out right there, taking most dangerous. So right there, there's the motion. Right here, you see they're setting to that C-gap. This guy ends up dropping. So now he's trying to work, get inside leverage. So now he works that C-gap, and he watches him by. Same thing here. You have a DN, watch him by. Everybody else is dropping. This is a first and 10. Really no blitz, getting dropped. The only guy that's rushing to the interior lineman is this big nose right here. He slips off right there, great job by 74. Getting into his body and then just flipping him off right there and making him feel like he was getting blocked. And now they're releasing vertical into that space for the old lineman. If you're looking here at the outside, again going wide right there with the back, it's almost like he's bubbling as well. Obviously lots of teams have done that as far as the bubble. And now he works right back in behind those guys. Good job there by the quarterback being an athlete, getting around that big nose. So right there, quarterback looks out to that running back. He's even a little shoulder fake, and now he's giving ground. A little jump pass right there, accuracy right there to his face. Now he's getting behind his blockers. Doesn't get a ton of yards right here. Great plays right here by these guys. Obviously, they're jumping around. This guy's retracing all that. But you can see the concept. If they can get that guy taken care of, that guy taken care of, there's a big chance for a play right there. But great play by those defenders. Round to the football there for Oregon. Uh, but again, creative concept right there, just another way to slow this pass rush down, make those guys kind of second guess if they're getting free right there to get after the quarterback. He's looking at Stanford in their forefront, they're in trips, and this middle screen is actually going to the back. So these guys on the outside, they're just basically running vertical, just trying to get these guys to think this is pass downfield. And you've got these guys setting C-gap for these DNs that are probably C-gap rushers. Obviously, you can twist all that stuff right there. Let those guys rush C-gap. These guys are going to pass sets, so letting those guys rush in those three techniques, the B-gap, putting hands on right there. You can see both guys putting hands on, letting them get to the outside gap. Try to release right here. This right guard gets caught up here just a little bit. His strong arm, he's spinning to that inside gap. Now he's trying to release center. He gets a free release because he had nobody on top of him. Right here, guard gets caught up just a little bit too long. Should get out probably a step or two quicker so he can get out in front of that back. Obviously, backs release quite a bit in most offenses today as far as uh, if you're a pro style or a spread offense, those guys are getting out. Right here, he does a good job pacing it, trying to let these guys rush, knowing that there's really no blitz, no rush to get out. He does a good job pacing it. He waits till he sees space right there in the middle of the field, and he goes back behind those offensive linemen. Obviously, this guy should have got out just a little bit quicker. Uh, but right there, get just a piece of that mic. There's the guard getting up right there, and now they're rolling in space for a touchdown against Stanford on a second and 12. So again, really like the pace, pacing of this running back. He releases like he's basically running some sort of a flat route or something right there. You know, that guy's basically manned up on him. He slows down, lets everything clear out, gets into the middle of the field. Good throw and catch right there. Obviously not the easiest thing. They take care of the guy that's manned up on him. And now big play right there for Washington for a touchdown. Looking at the quarterback right here, there's really nothing to fake. There's no fake screen or anything. Everything's going vertical. He catches it to the eyes. Just go that direction try to get people to rotate especially this mic right here now he's able to slip that thing through that window right in the middle of the field because there was no nose he didn't have to get over top of him easy window to throw it gets the ball to his guy right there and they score here's a look at this middle screen out of empty against oregon state and right here long yardage third and 16. oregon state showing a six-man blitz obviously uh could be a bluff these guys drop all that stuff they end up sending the middle screen right here from the slot receiver so just watching kind of what he does, it looks like he's just kind of running just a hangout route. He's just pacing it. And then once he sees that space, he starts working back towards the middle of the field. Obviously, if these guys are dropping right there, you can see they're dropping with basically no eyes on this guy at all. He's just basically being a robot, doing what he's coached and not actually looking up receivers. And that allows him just to slip into the middle of the field without any kind of wall or anything right there. But if you're looking at it right here, obviously, looks like a six-man blitz. Everybody just set. They end up getting these defensive ends into that C-gap. Just watching by, try to create an alley. Now, these guys are releasing. We'll go back and see what happens. 
they end up only rushing four and getting a twist here in the middle. So right there, just sort that thing out, let them rush. Good job by 51, puts hands on, but now he realizes, hey, it's time to get out. Just kind of pushes that guy by, now he's rolling. Get a guy right there that seals the guy that should have been, trying to wall him, not let him get to the middle of the field. Now we're getting in the middle of the field, just looking whoever up. Just run, you got a license to miss. Don't worry about anything right there, just run, don't reach. I just say, hey, use your body. There ain't no reason to reach, because that's, the only, that's how, the only way this play is gonna be negative when that ball gets in space. And right there, you can see good block right there by the center, and one right there on third and 16, to able to create a big play. Again, middle screen right there at an empty, no real bubble or anything, they're running verticals. Quarterback looks that direction, everybody's setting. Now he finds them. Accurate ball over the top of a defender, puts it right on his face. Now they're rolling with big guys out in front, creating an explosive play and a first down there against Oregon State. Here's another look at an empty for Washington. And this time they're playing Texas again, showing a six man pressure. This is actually just a second and two into the red zone goal line area. They actually run the middle screen from this receiver. So as you're looking at it, again, it's just a bluff. They're rushing four, dropping right there, doing a little bit better job of actually walling and, and somewhat cognizant of these receivers. He actually breaks toward, towards him right there. So, But you can see the center's getting absolutely mauled right here. So he's setting. Dude runs bull rush right through the middle of him, getting mauled. Looks like LeBron getting uh, just barely touched on a drive or something. So right there, he's flopping around. He's really trying to release. But right there, guards were able to get out. And again, quarterback looks away, comes back. Slot receiver just kind of paces it a little bit. He's got his eyes to the middle of the field. Once he sees it clear out, now he goes to the middle. Again, good job getting it around. You can see kind of the traffic. The guy's getting hands up, all that. Got to be an athlete. Get that ball around, puts it on his chest. Now he's able to get vertical for about eight to nine yards. Uh, pretty good play right in that empty set. Obviously, the empty set, they actually have the fullback here. These guys running verticals, running them off. Just a pace. Let these guys rush. Uh, be an athlete, get around, get the completion right there. He's trying to retrace, but obviously, going to get vertical with guys out in front. He was able to get the first down, get down into the goal line area. Pretty much the same look here, this time against Oregon. So apparently they saw this quite a bit, showing six-man pressure and some sort of an empty set. Running the middle screen over here from this receiver again. He kind of stalls, he goes there. These guys are obviously playing a little bit low for the screen, unless second and 10. This linebacker who showed blitz right here, he's bluffing and he just backs up, does a lot better job staring right there. He's not gonna just cover grass and just run out here and drop like a robot. He's gonna look up receivers, which is what he does right there. He fires before this guard can kind of realize what's going on. So right here, this guard should probably just take that guy. He's obviously the most dangerous. Don't pass up opposite color jerseys. And right there, great play by this linebacker, just understanding, hey, this is the most dangerous guy, the guy that can get the football. And he ends up collapsing in, making a play right there. But you can see, they get that thing around, and if this tackle rushes just a little bit more, get a piece of that. Again, good chance for an explosive play uh, right there. Obviously, good play by the linebacker, playing some man there uh, for Oregon. Obviously, Dan Lanning getting those guys coached up right there and not just spot driving. So uh, again, having to get it around, be an athlete, Completion could be a chance for a big play, but a good play there by the linebacker. Lots of teams had ran a version of this where they're getting their tight end or somebody down the middle of the field, if they can screen outside, if they can screen that direction, and then getting the guy down the middle of the field from these guys vacating. Very a little bit different look here from Washington. Obviously, this is in the bowl game. Around the time this play was kind of trending, and you have this fullback that's giving ground. There's a running back or fullback that's swinging right there. Running back's also swinging that direction. So a little bit different here for the blocking. Right tackle actually is the one that sets C-gap. He's the only one that actually does that. Left tackle, he's swiping by, running out flat. He's just going flat, trying to sell like he's blocking for this screen out here. And then these guys in the middle, they're just treating like the middle screen. So right guard. Swat him by, now we're releasing, center's releasing, guard's releasing. You can see they're just putting hands on, making it feel like they're getting blocked, then they slip, they release. Here's this fullback, he's actually almost past setting right there, like he's that tackle. And once he sees space, he gets in behind those guys. And right here, as you're looking at the quarterback, does a few things right here, once he catches it, he fakes to the right, he fakes to the back, trying to get those guys to widen. Turns his back, he fakes this direction. Again, trying to get those guys to widen, vacate the middle of the field. Now once he slips, gotta be an athlete. Good job jumping up, getting over the top of these guys. Easy catchable ball right there. Gets a piece of him, making a cut off that guy, and you have a chance to score right there. But uh, not the greatest run right there by that tight end. But again, getting the ball in space to one of your better players. Falling forward, getting close to the red zone goal line area. So really good call. A lot of teams have kind of been running something similar to this whenever they were down in that red zone area, probably from like the 25 in, thinking that this could be one of those things where they pop it for a touchdown. But good call. Again, good creativity 
getting their guys space in the middle of the field, make those guys slow down with their drops and obviously with their pass rush as well. So an empty here, motion their running back back, swing him there. This middle screen's coming from that tight end or fullback right there to the field. So swing him. Uh, same blocking here. Tackles are trying to set. These guys are rushing B-gap. Uh, so right here, really nobody set to. Great job right here by the right tackle. He doesn't rush off C-gap, don't get a corner fire or anything like that. So he has a set back inside, trying to get him to that C-gap, which is what he's able to do right there, and then run him vertical right here. And then you can see on this side, those guys are just like they're sliding, probably a little bit too long, holding him up, got a release. Tackle don't hold him or anything like that. He might turn back if he rushes to the inside, turn back so he can't retrace. And right here, so you're looking at this fullback, he kind of paces it, he slides out just a little bit so he can get a better angle to kind of go around. And once he sees those guys starting to release, gets to the middle of the field, makes a play right there, has to go up. Ball's high right here. Obviously, he's having to get it over the top of this guy that's rushing, get into his face. Probably want to get a little bit more on this guy so he doesn't get into his face that quickly. All right, but right there, great job giving ground. Really don't want to miss high on these screens to the middle field. That's a recipe for disaster. But right there, it's built out by that fullback. Obviously, if this fullback can't quite get that, there's a chance for this guy to get the pick. Uh, but really good play right here. Slides in there. He's, he knows there's people around him. Not sure if it's friendly guys or if it's guys from UCLA. Uh, he goes up with reckless abandon. Makes a play right there. Gets vertical. Not a huge play, but you can see what they're trying to do right there. Get about seven or eight on a first and 20. And again, is getting the guys in space, make those guys slow down, make them second guess when, once they beat a guy like that if this is about to be a screen or if this is a pass. Uh, so right there, really good play by a tight end. Again, good call. Throw those guys off a little misdirection. Get the ball to your guys in space. Here's a look right here. Motion out of two by two to three by one. And once this ball snaps, the middle screen is actually going right. They swing the back right there. Obviously, that's going to be your first look. Quarterback's eyes go there. Really good job right here by this receiver. If you watch him, he just kind of paces it. He's slow, he's looking that direction, trying to let all this clear out. Once you see those guys starting to release, he just slides there to the middle. Uh, right here, Michigan State's is D-tackle, gets hands on, knocks this thing down. Doesn't quite rush whenever he realizes that that guy's just trying to swat him by. So he does a good job, he feels like he's gonna swat him by screen, so he kind of sits, gets a hand up, makes a play right there, knocks it down. Obviously, if you got that guy to rush, get that completion, there's a ton of space right there towards the middle of the field. These guys are dropping, getting out of there. A lot of space right there for that screen if these guys are rushing hard. Obviously, if you're throwing these screens, these guys are not rushing extremely hard. That means one of those things where, hey, now we can throw the ball downfield. They are not getting after the quarterback, which is great. Now we can push the ball a little bit deeper downfield as far as our passing game. So right there, good job as the tackle playing the screen if that's what you what you want your defense, defensive tackles to do, which typically I'd say, hey, if you're a D lineman against the number one passing team in the country, probably want to get after the quarterback, but... Right here, they would make the play on a screen, which is cool. Uh, but I'm assuming that if you're playing the screens with your D tackles and D ends and whatnot, they're probably going to shred you through the air. So uh, it's one of those catch 22s. Made a great play right here, but probably didn't get the quarterback well enough to win the game.